Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a freaking awesome day. Why? Well, today we're going to be propagating some uh, tissue culture bread undulatas. But first, I have some shout outs. Uh, two subscribers yesterday, uh, one from Mr. Gymnose, and a shout out to Lindsay1148. All right. Neither one of them commented or said anything, but I'm still going to say hello to you anyway. And before we get to the topic, I've got a special shout out to Charles Hick. Yeah. He commented on my uh, eco um, system video yesterday and reminded me about something I forgot to mention that I'm fully aware of. Um, when running a self-sustaining ecosystem that actually bacteria is your first line of defense when it comes to ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, which I, I'm aware of that. Um, plants are secondary. He mentioned that too. Um, but that that's part of like the nitrogen cycle uh, conversation, and I don't talk about that. You know, uh, everyone seems to have their idea of how long it takes and, you, you know, and what you need to get it going and when it'll finish and all of that. The fact of the matter is the nitrogen cycle is something everyone should already be aware of. And secondly, it's going to take as long as it's going to take because it depends on the size of your tank and it depends on what the hell you put in there, you know? So when it's done, congratulations. That's how long it takes for that tank anyway. But I take my time in this. Don't rush anything, you know? Stuff's going to take as long as it's going to take, and you just sit back and enjoy it. He also mentioned that I uh, tend to get off, uh, that I should try to stay on topic. Um, that that might help or something. Man, I'm never, I always get off topic. I'm just some random dude in the dark in the basement making YouTube videos. I get off topic all the time. None of this shit's scripted. I have a semi-willy-nilly idea of what it is I'm going to talk about, and then I just start running my mouth. I mean, like, look, look at this. See that? You know how the hell that happened? Last week, I needed to go in the garage to grab something. One of my kids left their shoe just in the middle of the garage, and I didn't see it. I slipped. I tripped over it. I fell forward. I put my hand out in front of me, you know, to, so I wouldn't hit my face because I knew I was going down. And my thumb slipped between the gas cap of the lawnmower and the engine and got stuck in there. And I ripped my hand out and blood just exploded in my thumb. Hurt like hell, man. Hurt like hell! But anyway, uh, Charles uh, mentioned he is a, a scientist, I think, or he said he was a biology teacher. I don't know, astronaut, something of that nature. Anyway, but yes, you are correct, and there is a lot of redundant information and YouTubers out there trying to um, relay facts that have been the same story told for 50 years. Bottom line is, you want to do this hobby, you're going to have to get your hands wet and your hands dirty, and you're going to have to do your due diligence and check your water and figure all this shit out yourself. You know, um, I did. I'm self-taught. Nobody's, I mean, I watched a bunch of videos, half the YouTubers just lied to me about stuff, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start doing this. Um, so, here we are, and now I'm making videos. Uh, so, we are, because we do have an actual topic, see, look at all this talking we did, and we haven't even gotten to the point yet. Alright, and what was the point? You're right, we're going to propagate some freaking uh, red undulata, some tissue cultures, I got them at PetSmart. Alright. Now, this will be officially the only video on YouTube that talks about propagating red undulata tissue cultured plants. Literally. I, I, I looked everywhere. You can't even Google it. You can't even find a video of someone cleaning a red undulata tissue cultured plant off. But I had uh, pro pulled some out of another tank. And uh, I've got some here. Uh, yeah, take your time when you're removing crypts. They don't like being moved. Well, actually, no plants like being moved, but especially crypts. Hold on, my mouth is dry. I'm going to have some soda. I know I'm not advertising it because I don't make money on this channel. 
and I'm not really interested. I'm just doing this for fun. But, so, here, this came out of a pack of three. A year ago, I bought it at PetSmart. When I got it, there were three little tiny red undulata uh, cryptocorns and a tissue culture bag, and it looked exactly like this. And that's because I just bought a pack recently. But uh, yeah, these are a year old. And so it took it, 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 it grew so slow, I had no idea it was even getting to a point of propagation because I just wasn't noticing it at all that it was getting larger. To me, it just looked like the same freaking plant for a year. But anyway, I do know how to propagate cryptocorns and they do run uh, runners. Uh, they, they put runners under the dirt we're like Valisonaria and Chainsword and stuff. They're runners over the dirt, but they're several inches apart. Cryptocorns do them under the dirt and very close together. I mean, so close, you think it's one bush when in fact it's like 10 plants compacted into one. So, I have all the roots here. Pull it out very carefully. And I'm going to try to show you this that you will see as I start to separate. Look, hold on. I'm doing my best here, man. We're going to stay on topic. Yeah. Oh, wait. First, let me get a sip of my soda. Mmm, tasty. Now someone's going to get me for copyright infringement. Or maybe I don't know. Anyway, this is the soda I have today. It's not exactly the soda of choice, but it was the first one I saw, so I grabbed it. And it's an energy drink, and I'm freaking tired. I was up all night propagating crap. And I was like, well, I'm going to make a video. Uh, so congratulations. Everyone gets a third video for the third day in a row, and I never do that. So anyway, you see how they're falling apart? These are all the new plants that were growing side by side under the dirt over the last year. And I had Now remember, I had one, like so. And look at all these beauties next to it. Now, I could sit here and take all these apart in front of you. I took one apart yesterday. That was this size. And there's 12 in there. Um, I will give one piece of advice. Now, the cryptocorns, when they throw runners underneath, when they're ready, they'll actually separate on their own. You don't have to snip the rhizome. So if you get the one and you see that there are two still connected together... Just leave those two together and then plant them. All right, but uh, like this one, I'm pulling off. It's solo. It's a solo, solo plant. Right there. All right. Oh. Let me show you. And you see that little hook? That was the rhizome that was once connected to the plant. But like I said, Crips will throw out a runner, start growing a new plant, and then they'll just separate um, up here anyway. You still got a huge mess of roots you got to deal with. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to be propagating these, planting them in this uh, 55 because I am carpeting this entire tank with uh, cryptocorns of all kinds. And I love me some red undulatas. And actually... I tried to YouTube some videos of anyone who tried to carpet with um, Crips. I only found two, and they were people who were um, talking about um, carpeting a tank with Cryptocorn Parva, you know, and saying that it takes years and years unless you buy like 50 pots of it. But uh, one in particular, I'm not going to call them out, she was like, Parva are the smallest and they only get like two inches. It's a lie. All right, I have some parva in here, and I bought it the same time as I bought the red undulata. And yes, it was really small, but it's actually taller than my red undulatas. And I'm going to prove it to you because I'm going to show it to you right now. And then we're going to cut this video short and be done with today. All right. I'm going to prove it to you about the parva getting to the same size as the red undulatas. Um, 
I'm going to point it out to you. Yes, they look almost identical. Um, the red undulatas do not stay red unless there's like a bunch of highlight CO2 and a bunch of iron. They do start turning green. But anyway, this was my parva. Look at how tall that is. And here is the red undulata planted at the same time. Parva undulata. Now, can I prove it to you other than just saying that that's what it is? No, but I'm fully aware of what I bought a year ago and planted, and I know where I planted it and pulled it from, because here is a bush of parva after one year, and I had three of them. I propagated two piles of it. So, uh, one second. So again, what the heck? There's a ghost in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's my dad. I got his ashes a few weeks ago, and um, I put them in the basement. I haven't told the boys yet. Um, and then weird stuff just has been happening in here. Uh, anyway, yeah, I won't tell them that there's a dead person in the basement down here. You know, my, my older son, he's 12, and he still thinks his dolls come to life at night, so he throws them all in the closet. Anyway, what the heck were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the parva and the red undulata. So there you go, I showed you. Now if you're a plant expert, you, you'll know. If you don't, take my word for it. I got no reason to lie about stuff on here. You know, I, there are some YouTubers out there that bullshit all kinds of crap. But, you know, I tell it like it is and here's like it is. A 40 year old man in his basement making YouTube videos on my phone. I don't care about the special equipment or anything like that either. Uh, by the way, uh, Charles, yeah, and I do appreciate your uh, comment and your knowledge, and they were things that I was aware of, and maybe I should have mentioned that, I don't know, but hey, I, I uh, appreciate the kind words, and uh, you said that I was a funny guy, my wife doesn't think I'm funny, my kids think I'm funny, I don't know, anyway, thanks everyone for watching, um, that's it, I hope you have a fantastic day. And like always, if you're down in the dumps, you're having a terrible day, get up and do something about it.